Today's video will cover a lot of topics. First of all, we will learn how to talk about age in Russian. Secondly, we will learn how to use pronouns in dative case because pronouns in dative case are used in this pattern. And secondly, we will revise and for those who are not familiar with the Russian numbers, we will learn Russian numbers. For me, I would say мне 34 года. Мне 34 года. What can we see here? No verb at all. No verb to be, no verb to have, no verbs. We just put pronoun мне. It is pronoun in dative case. Nominative case is I, я. Dative case is мне, to me. And then comes the number 34 года. Okay? Года is years. And it is optional. We can say it, we cannot say it if we don't want. I can say мне 34 or мне 34 года. Next year I will say мне 35 лет. Why лет? Why can't we say года again? Can we? No, we can't. I will show how it works. Мне один год. Мне is to me. Один means one. Год means year. Noun year in singular form. Один год. Then comes мне два года. Again, pronoun to me. Мне два, two. Года. What is года? Года is year in genitive case. It has to be so. Мне два года. Next year. Мне три года. Again, года. The word year in genitive case. Then comes мне четыре года. And next year, a, an interesting thing happens. Next year, a person would say мне пять лет. Why лет? Starting with five, we don't use the verb the word year, we use the word summer, лето, лето is summer, and we put it in plural genitive case, it comes мне пять лет, then we say мне шесть лет, six years old, мне семь лет, мне восемь лет, мне девять лет, nine years old, мне десять лет, and so on, up to twenty-one. When it comes to twenty-one, a person should say again год. Мне двадцать один год, because the last word in our number is one. Двадцать один год. Next year they will use года again. 22 года. Мне 22 года. For three, for 23, we also use года. Мне 23 года. For four and 24 and 34, 44 and so on, we use again года. Мне 24 года. Or that is why I said мне 34 года. Let's go on. Other pronouns. Now we have to take a pronoun and put it in dative case. How to say ты, you, in dative case? Тебе, тебе. How to make a sentence you are 10 years old? Тебе, 10, and then года, год, or лет. Лет, right. Тебе, 10 лет. How to make it question? Yes, right, only intonation changes. Тебе 10 лет? Nothing changes, only intonation and we put question mark at the end. Тебе 10 лет? Не может быть. I can't believe. Тебе 10 лет? Okay, uh, how to say он, he in dative case? Ему, ему 10 лет. How to say она in dative case? Ей, е, и. It comes ей. Ей 10 лет. She is 10. 
how to say ANNO it in dative case. The same as he ему, ему 10 лет, again. And how to say мы, we in dative case. Нам, нам 10 лет. And the last one, они, they, они, we have to say им, им 10 лет. Now let's revise numbers from 11 to 19 or learn them if you haven't learned them before. Let's take uh, on in dative case, ему, and we have to say he is 11. Ему 11 лет. 11. 11. 11 лет. Then comes 12. Ему 12 лет. 12. Ему 12 лет. Ему 12 лет. Then comes 13. Again the same ending цать. Ему 13 лет. 13 лет. 14. Ему 14 лет. 14 лет. Let's take another pronoun. Let's take uh, ей to her. How to say she's 15. Ей 15 лет. We don't pronounce я here. We pronounce э. Пе. 15 лет. Ей 15 лет. Она подросток. She's a teenager. Подросток. A teenager. Then 16. Ей 16 лет. We don't pronounce t here. 16. 16 лет. Then comes 17. Ей 17 лет. 17. 17 лет. She's a big girl. And finally, ей 18 лет. 18. Ей 18 лет. Она взрослая. She's an adult now. Она взрослая. And the last one, 19. Ей 19 лет. Ей 19 лет. How to ask about age? We use the question word. How many? Сколько? Сколько? And then we say тебе лет. Сколько тебе лет? We always use лет in this question. We never use года. Сколько тебе лет? Or if we want to sound more polite, we can also ask Сколько вам лет? We put вы in dative case. Сколько вам лет? Though in Russia it is not considered to be very polite to ask a woman about her age because some women can not be comfortable about that. What else? Um, please write in the comments how old you are. Or if you are not comfortable about that, write about your partners, parents, um, children's ages. And let's take some more numbers. Um, so we have already taken 20, yes, 20, 20, so 21, 22, 23, and so on. Let's take 30, 30. 30. We don't pronounce D here, just 30. Then comes 40. 40. 40. Another one, 50. 50. But we don't pronounce A, Я here, we pronounce 50. 50. Then 51, 52, 53, and so on. What about 60? 60. Again, we don't pronounce t and d. 60. We pronounce 60. 60. 61. 62. 63. Okay. Another one. 70. 70. 70. 70. 
семьдесят один, семьдесят два, семьдесят три. So on. Then восемьдесят, 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 восемьдесят один, восемьдесят два, восемьдесят три. Then девяносто. We don't pronounce я yeah. again. Девяносто. 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 And сто. One hundred. Very easy and short word. Сто. Сто. In case you are lucky to have such relatives. Сто. Also, to write about your family, friends and relatives, you will need some phrases related to them. I will give examples about myself. Мне тридцать четыре года. Моей сестре, моей сестре из моя сестра, my sister in dated case, моей сестре сорок один год. Угу. Моему брату, моему брату тридцать два года. Yes, 32 года. Он большой парень, он взрослый. He's a big boy already. Ему 32 года. Then, моему сыну. It is my son, мой сын in dated case. Моему сыну 7 лет. Моему сыну 7 лет. Then, моей дочери. Дочь is daughter. Моей дочери, is dative case, моей дочери 4 года. 4 года, 4 years old. Then how to say um, мой муж, my husband in dative case. Моему мужу. Моему мужу. And then comes the number of years. Then how to say моя жена. Моей жене. In dative case, it will be моей жене. My boyfriend. Мой парень. How to put it in dative? Моему парню. Then you say how old is he. Then my girlfriend. Моей девушке. Моей девушке. And then comes the number of years. Um, what else? Uh, my dad and my mom. Right? Моему Папе, my dad, моему папе 70 лет. Моему папе 70 лет. And моей маме, моей маме 68 лет. Hope you've got it. She's 68. 68 лет. Now choose phrases you need to write about your family, to write about age. Also, you can check out my lesson on dative case, how, how different words usually change in dative case. And um, until next time, увидимся в следующий раз. Пока!